Whiplash here, welcome to another exciting tutorial from PH Studios. This will be the final steps in the basic training series, and then we'll jump into the prequels to the tower defense, and at the same time, in order to get things going on, we will also be doing the space shooter video tutorials. To kind of make up for last year and the last few months of this year, We'll be pushing extra hard to get as many videos as per week out as possible. Of course, premium members get them first, then regular members, then YouTube members. So this is what we'll be doing in this tutorial. I modified it from the last tutorial. You saw it bouncing and I spent a few days and that was why we had a long delay. We really can't do that in this tutorial because it requires a lot of trigonometry and it'll be very complicated. So I abandoned that and just had a... We are basically doing the same thing. I'm showing you how to add a rotation and scale effect to your sprite. I'm just going to not have a bounce. So it stays in the same place and will not bounce because it requires a lot of trigonometry and which is math and I do not want to go into that in great detail for this basic tutorial I will later on but not for this tutorial so that's what it looks like when we complete it now let's go to file new project we wanted to XNA game studio 3.0 windows game 3.0 and let's name it movement 2 tutorial Okay, so now we need to load our sprite in our content. So we're going to go to content. Now I'm going to move this over here so you can see it better. Existing item. And I'm going to go to where my existing item is, which is on my desktop. And I can grab either one, but I have not provided that yet. So just click one of the sprites I provided to you for free and go to add. Now that's in our Solution Explorer, we need to load that into memory. So we're basically doing the tutorial, or uh, I don't know, 30 all over again. Alright, so that's player, and let's add a vector to position, and there we go. Now in the load content, we want the player to equal to content.load. And it's going to be a texture 2D. Sorry, I had to move the microphone. So it's going to be a texture 2D. And the asset name, just like always, is player. So now that's in memory, we want to display it. And to do that, we go to sprite batch.begin, sprite batch.end. And in between, sprite bash dot draw. And then we have player, position, and color dot white. Oops. Alright, now in the initialize method, we forgot to initialize the position. So position is equal to new vector 2, and I'm going to do like 300, 200. So it's right in the middle of the screen or close to it and our program is running successfully but let's add rotation and scale effects to that so we have a position underneath that we need a few floats we need four we need to have called the rotation and the delta rotation and what delta rotation will do is handle how much the rotation is incremented or decremented every loop. And the rotation just holds the current rotation of the sprite. Now we do the same thing for scale. Scale and delta scale. And again, delta scale holds um, the amount of scale that will be determined from frame 1 to frame 2. So if the frame 1, our scale is 1, 
and on frame 2 our scale is 1.2 the delta scale is 0 0.2 because that was added to the scale alright now in the initialize so let's set the delta rotation to some amount uh, let's say 0 0.2 and delta scale to let's see 0 0.05 oh now you need an F there after the number of values you need an F and then the semicolon so now here comes the tricky part the uh, update method so like I said before, our rotation is going to be incremented by delta rotation, and our scale is going to be incremented by incremented by delta scale. Okay. So if we press F5, we have no compile errors, but nothing's happening. That's because we're using basic draw call. So let's modify that. SpriteMatch.draw. And I'm going to choose about. Let's do six of seven. So now let's player, comma position, comma null, comma color dot white, comma rotation, comma new vector two. This is the origin we talked about in a previous tutorial which is player dot width divided by two comma player dot height divided by two that signifies the center of the sprite sprite effects whoops as I mentioned in the previous tutorial you need to watch out for that it'll jump to 